Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Warrior's Den. Uh, please share my anger at Damien, who's not here yet. <laughs> he apparently had a meeting that's going long, so let's all razz him when he actually does get here. I know I will. But uh, hey, as usual, I'm here for you. You can trust me. Forget about this guy who's not here. Uh, welcome back to the Warrior's Den. Uh, we have had about six or seven weeks of really action-packed, info-packed shows on the, the stream which is uh, super nice, I think, for you and for me to do a, a show full. Oh, Damien's here. Hello. Hi. Hello. I was doing the, the, the time honored tradition of stretching for time. But I was saying uh, we've had a lot of weeks full of content and information and news and all that. And this week is a much more chill week. We don't have big announcements this week. We don't have new gameplay to show. We don't have new events to reveal. But we've got this guy, finally. Sorry. Right, where were you? I had a chat with Roman. <laughs> Is he coming? No, because he's not. What? He's so, supposed to be here too? Yeah, I know, oh I know, I know. God. In the end, he can't come. These guys. It's, uh, we're leaving tonight, fine, tomorrow morning, for two weeks. <laughs> and the amount of things we need to close before leaving is insane. Anyway. <sighs> Everyone uh, in the chat, give a big sigh. <laughs> <laughs> I printed the Q&A and all. I, I, I'm, I'm ready. I already printed everything for you. I I'm have more announcements, in fact. What? Yeah. Announcements? Yeah. I hate it when he does this. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, welcome. Welcome. Hi, I how are you? I think everyone's Hi. happy that you're here because they don't have to just listen to my terrible voice. But uh, thank you for joining us. So I want to jump right in. Yes. And I, I did a little line here on our uh, run of show. Uh, let's start with an update on where we are with our dedicated servers. Yes. If you're unaware, if maybe you haven't had a chance to play or tune in to anything For Honor related this week, we're now live. Our dedicated servers are now live on console on PS4 and Xbox One. Woo! Yes. Yay. And it's going really well. It is. It is. It, it, we were just talking before the, the start, and we were saying, like, Bio, who's on the show later, is like, eh, how is it going? I mean, there are people... I haven't seen people saying a lot of stuff. I'm like, that's exactly a good sign. <laughs> They're not saying anything. Uh, that's pretty good. Now, there are some known issues we wanted to call out, but the, these are very minor. And I think it was really good in the end, uh, the way we did uh, PC first, because it yes. did allow us to identify some big issues that the team fixed in time for the console release. Yeah. So it, it, yeah. I think the rollout worked as intended. Yes. But uh, just some known issues, unless you want to give another high level. No, uh, please go and I will uh, jump in if I have a. So we experience. do know some people have run into grouping issues. You'll uh, group with your friends, go into a match, and leader will get in, but then some of his teammates might just get stuck in the lobby matchmaking forever thing, uh, which is not ideal. So the team is working very hard on that right now. Um, they're, I think, kind of close to a fix, but they don't have a fix just yet, but uh, they're on it. So stay tuned for updates on that, on when we can uh, fix that. There is, uh, this isn't really in-game, but we did the open test in December. Yes. That's how we knew we were ready to go with the servers. Uh, part of that was this rewards thing. So people who participated in it would get rewards uh, for participation. And we were waiting until the servers were live to give those rewards. We've done it on PC. Console players are wondering when they get theirs. Um, and in fact, uh, our guy, we do, we do have a guy who like, presses a button. Uh, he's not here this week. Uh, so I, I suspect those will be rolling out next week if you haven't gotten when them yet. When he's back. So starting so Monday, he'll be here. A lot of pressure on yeah. Monday <laughs> to push the button. So it's not only pushing a button. It's, it's more complex than that. That's why we need for, to wait for him. Exactly. If it was a button, I could. Yeah, that's yeah. something I can manage. But uh, no, he has to do some work on that. But uh, they are coming. Don't worry. We haven't forgotten about them. And another issue that we're looking at right now, if we have any Italiano folks watching right now, uh, we are aware that some folks in Italy are having less than ideal uh, connection experiences. And uh, we knew before we did servers that our connection rates in Italy in general were kind of the lowest in Europe. It's not yeah, a for honor a thing, it's kind of a f and they had a infrastructure lot of thing. Red NATs yeah, yeah. as well. And exactly, like they had that. a NATs yeah, as well. Yeah. So I can't tell you right now all the things we can do for it because the team is actively investigating it, but we are actively investigating it. We'll do whatever we can on our side. Sometimes there's a really, there's a limit based on a country or a region's ISPs, things like that. Even if that's the case, I think we'll let people know. I think, um, I think on Rainbow, in fact, there was some country where, that had a similar issue 
and that the 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 players in that country actually talked to their ISP and made some settings change and it fixed it. So anything is possible. So stay tuned. But I just wanted our Italian players to know we're looking into that. Yeah. I'd like to add yes. uh, on the servers. So first, uh, results are really good stability-wise, connectivity-wise. So we're very happy uh, about that. No resyncs, no more uh, session regressions and stuff like that. So yep. all of that went to 0%. So that's really cool. Uh, we have uh, the team already uh, spotted some bugs uh, mm -hmm. that are impacting uh, stability and connectivity. So even if it's really good, it can be better. Of course. And that's one part of the message that now we released it. Team is super happy. Yep. But their their priority is still to work on that and that's still right. to optimize it, to find bugs, to find anything that that make it not as good as as perfect, basically. Yep. And so they are already identified some uh, some bugs that they will uh, fix soon. The, it's server-side bugs, so that's even cooler. So it means we don't need maintenance, we didn't, don't need submission and all. That's great. So uh, the team is still behind that, and it's still their top priority uh, for the coming weeks so that we're sure everything is fine. Yeah, good good job. Good to mention that, because I had gotten questions like, what is the Onion team's next priority? Yeah, and so now their priority are really. still the servers uh, to optimize how we use those and, 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 and basically everything around that, and also to, to still push up the connectivity and stability, uh, because the numbers we have, even if are really good, mm -hmm. those are the starting numbers for us. It's like we can, oh, like, exactly. like we did with peer-to-peer, -peer, we improved it uh, along the way. We still want to do that uh, with servers uh, uh, so that we can have really... Uh, as good as possible. Yeah, as, yes, good as, as good possible. as good as humanly possible. Yeah. Uh, cool. So this morning, we released a live update. Yes. Uh, we have those patch notes, if you weren't aware. We, we had already posted those, but uh, in case you weren't aware of... It's, a, it's not an extensive update, but it's some uh, very um, targeted things. First of all is our AFK timer update. Yes. So um, this was, so we mentioned before with season five, we've increased the, our diligence on AFK in general, the way that we are monitoring it, so it's, the frequency that we are acting on it, the, and uh, the escalation. The escalation, yeah, exactly. The escalation of sanctions if you are found to be uh, abusing it. We've uh, done all these things, which is great. We're really seeing a, a positive effect. Uh, and then this was sort of the last piece for now of what we wanted to do, which is yep. uh, adjust the AFK timers. So basically when the system knows to kick someone out who's just standing there and ruining your, your session of Dominion. So in 4v4 modes, the timer is uh, 45 seconds. So 45 seconds of no action and you're out. And I've seen a lot of discussion about this. I know people are like, eh, what if I get some pizza delivered? Uh, it's not something I think is going to happen every match. <laughs> it's sort of an outlier case. Uh, what's more important for us is people not negatively affecting your gameplay session as a teammate uh, or, or as an opponent. So that sort of trumps that. I, I hear you. So, and I even understand the that. 120 seconds, you couldn't get the pizza. Yes, by the, they could pay for it. It's and, true. So and it was 120 back, so, seconds previously. So, yeah. So. Yeah, exactly. So we think uh, we need to find the, the best time so it doesn't yep. impact everybody else. Yep. Um, uh, and then in Duel and uh, Brawl, it uh, is a 30-second timer. So it's a little bit shorter because those modes are shorter. Um, but uh, obviously, keep us updated on how you're feeling about these changes. Give us the feedback. I, I Like I said, I do understand people are like, ah, but we need some leeway here. But it's sort of just a decision. Like, uh, we did see a real big uptick in people abusing AFK practices yeah. starting around season four uh, and it's more important for us to lock down those things than uh, you getting a pizza break during a match and uh, you can still have your pizza break between matches exactly <laughs> yeah tell the tell the delivery man to wait for a few minutes uh this is a, a thing that was close to my heart uh, it's, a, it's a very small change, but it is something we mentioned at the launch of our servers. We would keep an eye on the regions around the world and how they're performing and the feedback on them. And uh, right away, we get a lot of feedback from uh, some folks in some of our Middle Eastern countries. Uh, not all of them, but some of the Middle Eastern countries kind of on the edge uh, were being routed through our Singapore server. Uh, and the reasons for that were very good. The team based it all on data. Di I've never said it that way. Data? Data. Um, latency was overall less going to Singapore, but 
we got a lot of feedback from players uh, that they prefer going through Europe as they were previously. And in fact, we made this change on the P2P side as well. Um, we, if they weren't matching with Europe for a time, and we made that change so they could. So they really appreciated that, and we're doing it again. So part yeah. of this live update is specifically Kuwait, UAE, Qatar, Bahrain. You're now matchmaking through Europe instead of Asia. So let us know how that um, experience is for you. If it's uh, much better, if it's slightly better, if it's not better at all, we want to know those things. But uh, that sort of folds into if you're in X region across the world and you have a question, like let us know what your experience is like because we need to know that thing to make any sort of decisions. So uh, we know actually it's in one of our Q and A's, but we know Australia. Yeah, yeah we have. Uh... We have many and other questions, yeah. but we do a good yeah. Q&A time. Yeah, yeah. So even if Ramon's not here, we'll still do a Q&A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes, uh, always let us know if you're in a region that you feel is not being properly uh, handled. Cool. And then, what is this, Damien? Some uh, fighter fixes. Fixed an exploit right. that caused the animation of some cancelled attacks to not play properly, resulting in a faster transition to the mix-up. Example of this. Very good example. Yes. It's the Kensei. Kensei is always a good example. <laughs> Kensei Stop Heavy would not be playing when cancelled into the pommel strike, resulting in it being much faster than expected. Much faster than expected. So basically, we, um, we made a fix on uh, some of the attacks uh, for the transition mix up. Uh, so the Conqueror, Heavy Opener, Charge Heavy, and Heavy Finisher to full block stance and shield uppercut. The Peacekeeper, the right heavy finisher, the left heavy finisher to, can, to dagger cancel. The Raider, the zone attack and Raider's Fury to stunning tap. Uh, Valkyrie, the heavy opener, the heavy finisher to shield crush. Uh, Kensei, so the top heavy opener as we already said. And the second chain top heavy as well to Palmer Strike. And Shugoki, the heavy opener to Demon's Embrace. And Highlander. The Balor's Might to Fomorian King and Loctus. Why are you laughing? Someone in, ch <laughs> someone in chat, I guess, is catching up. Why do you need one person to push a button? Are you idiots? <laughs> we weren't being literal. We don't literally have a button. Calm down. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> Which button it is? Okay. Uh, Conqueror. So we did a bug fix on the Conqueror. We fixed an issue that caused the unblockable visual effect to not be displayed when performing the shield uppercut after a flail uppercut. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. And on the shinobi side, we also did another bit fix. Mm -hmm. We reverted the following change introduced in version 1.18. The change was, after any hit, the shinobi did not reinitialize his charge when heavy attack is still held. Now the charge of the shinobi works in terms of input, like the charge of a conqueror, for example. So we reverted that because it caused the shinobi to be able to perform multiple double dodges a in a row. Quad dodge. Unintended. More easily than it was originally intended and made it the timing to launch the kick much harder. Yep. So now, so now what is the current situation is that to restart the charge after any move or attack, the player must release and press the heavy attack button again. So no more annoying uh, quad quad dash, whatever we want to call it, quad dodge. Uh, but if you're a shinobi, maybe that's not annoying. Maybe it's annoying that we fixed it. But uh, it was never intended. <laughs> so there it is. It's back to the way it should be. Yes, and uh, the then UI. we just updated some move set yeah. icons and stuff, which is not super important. Exactly. Cool. I have uh, I have something else. Oh. Is that what uh, this is? Yeah, it's what this is. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's a good news. Mm. It's a good news. I'll give you the floor then. So, <laughs> so we want to, um, to give more incentive to play ranked. Oh, good. Uh, ranked matches. We know that uh, mm -hmm. right now ranked tribute is not very popular. Mm -hmm. uh, dual tournament is pretty popular. In fact, I was surprised. Uh, we looked at the number recently. It's doing okay since the yeah. new, the new yeah. servers. Since the new servers and all on new seasons, pretty popular. Anyway, uh, so we have many different actions uh, we want to do on uh, on ranked matches, mm -hmm. and we want to deliver everything next week. But in fact, some things were delivered today. But it's not in the patch note, it's nobody's really? aware of it. You're even not aware of it. Oh. So what is delivered today? 
And that is really cool that we've uh, increased the rewards in uh, ranked play, ah. uh, in uh, ranked 4v4. So now you will gain more XP and more steel, and more steel, a little bit, but still, uh, on, uh, on 4v4 uh, ranked. So um, we increased by around 10% uh, the rewards on, uh, on 4v4 ranked. So for example, uh, Dominion ranked is moving from uh, 460 XP to 510 XP. And the steel is moving from, uh, I don't mm -hmm. have the, do I have it? <laughs> I don't have it. He has a giant it's matrix It's moving on to, his, uh... to uh, 53, but I don't know what was the, um, the original uh, value. Anyway, so it's, uh, we're increasing uh, by around 10% XP in steel on, uh, on, uh, on, ranked, um, on ranked play. So that's really cool. And what we will do next week, mm -hmm. so big changes next week. Uh, first one being that we are going back to Dominion ranked ah, uh, yes. because tribute ranked is not popular enough. Uh, so we think it's better to go back to the one that was more popular. Mm -hmm. uh, some players are also requesting that, say, yeah, we're preferring uh, Dominion ranked as a uh, tribute ranked. So we go back to Dominion ranked even more than now we have the servers. So Dominion is more stable and all. It could uh, give the opportunity to the player who weren't doing it on previous seasons to do it at that mm -hmm. season. So that's a change. So we plan to do it next week. Yeah. We never know what happens. Yes, it's I won't still be in here. testing right so now. So it's yeah, it's that's the plan. Might be not next week, but that's the plan. Yep. Uh, the other thing we want to do, I'm doing all of that. Uh, <laughs> through, I think I put it in my uh, Q&A section. <laughs> Let me check because I don't want to say uh, bad things. <laughs> um, we are also tuning the um, how we consider your personal score versus your, uh, the win the win match result. So right now, mm. the what has the more weight mm -hmm. is how well you perform during your match, and then if you win or lose the match, it will uh, hinder that. Enfin, it will uh, give a, a boost of that value. Uh, now we are giving a higher. Um, value to the winning condition. So if you win a match, it will boost even more your, uh, uh, your personal performance on that match uh, so that it's, uh, it makes more sense for the player. Because we had situation, for example, where we had players telling us, well, I won a match, but I lose 40% uh, in my ranking. Right. What the fuck? Yep. And then, so this was because that person was the last person in his team in the match. Mm. And because he was doing a very bad score, mm. the boost on that bad score wasn't making him good at the, already, uh, at the leaderboard state. Okay. And so he was considered as losing with the ranking system, when in fact he won the match, even if he didn't contribute a lot to that match. So now we're trying to find a new balance where we take into consideration more the win and loss condition of the match. Okay. We'll see how it goes, but that's something uh, we want to test. And the other thing we are changing as well that uh, was uh, going against that perception is the fact that um, we have, um, when you go up in division or go down in division, we have a bonus mm -hmm. or a malus, malus mm -hmm. in English, malus, uh, of 25%. So when you go up in a division, you, you are not uh, winning 3% with your match, but you're winning 28%. Mm. And that was because of the bonus. And we have that bonus so that you don't fluctuate a lot from one division to the other. Okay. But it was, uh, it's misleading a lot our player base uh, and they're, they're really not understanding those big jumps. So now we want to still keep that bonus and that malus, but by reducing the value, so now it will go to 10% only. Okay. So that it's absorbing one or two fluctuation, but not more than that. So now you shouldn't have crazy uh, jump and, uh, and uh, up and down uh, when we do that at the date as well. Cool. And I think, yeah, and th that's all of it. We still are, we are still working on master rank. That's not forgotten. The team is still on it. No ETA for the moment, but yep. that would be the extra next step, but a bigger step. Uh, for the people who are ranked uh, Diamond 5 and then are like, okay, I finished it, uh, right. what do I need to do? So that's, that's the state of rank. 
So more rewards right now, and then change of how we, we rank players mm -hmm. next week, and change of the mode, which will go back to Dominion. Cool. Uh, well, and we don't know yet if we reset players or not, uh, yeah. based on what they did in, uh, during those two weeks. It will depend greatly on the amount of players who get ranked, so we need to look at the data, etc. We might reset players, we might not reset them. Okay. Uh, and if we won't reset them, it means that it's because there are not a lot of players, so we don't need to reset everyone. So do you think for the time being then, <clears throat> that Dominion will remain as the, the main 4v4 ranked mode, or, or do you want to be... Continue yeah, to change it's, it I think uh, I think it will remain the um, the four v four ranked mode. I don't think we'll sense. try to change to go to elimination or skirmish, yeah. for example. We know it won't work anyway. Yeah. Uh, then if we have a, a stronger four v four modes that comes in the future with one of our variation introducing an event or something like that, we could consider it as mm -hmm. well. Uh, but for the moment, I think uh, Dominion is the the game to go. Uh, and I, I think I would mention too ranking. that uh, so so we're seeing you know we're it, it's awesome we're seeing a, a lot of people coming back to For Honor and yeah. uh, with the stability of the servers I would urge everyone to kind of give it another shot get a team get get kind of a dedicated team together and get into ranked uh, it's apart from all the things Damien's team is going to be working on uh, one other thing I would say too because I get this question a lot is you know like how do how do I find people to come to workshops how do I find people to do you know competitions on streams and stuff and. It's a lot of answers to that, but uh, my plan, once ranked becomes a good popular mode, is to really use our top our top uh, scores on ranked yeah. to to source new players for us to talk to, to get feedback, to get that high level competitive feedback. So it's not just uh, pissing in the wind, as you yeah, might yeah, say yeah. in the states. Uh, it's a it's a good mo if you are good at For Honor and you want to stick with For Honor. I definitely recommend spending some time in Ranked because uh, it's not just a waste of time. Um, so let's give it time. Let's see over the course of the season with all these new people coming back. Yes. And, you know, we've got the... It's, it's, worth, it's worth spending some of your time. And on. we have other ideas to still give more incentive to play rank. Uh, yeah. Just don't want to speak yeah. about those. Yeah, this isn't the end of your measures. Yeah, because we are not... Uh, uh, validated yet and all, but uh, the, um, the team of uh, BIO uh, has a lot of very cool proposals uh, that I'd like to see. So, uh, well, but that would be uh, later on. Cool. Well, that was a good tangent. That so was that, not was a, that was a cool <laughs> surprise, huh? Uh, cool. So that's, that's one of the reasons why I was late. Yes. It was to figure that out before coming so we can discuss it because it's not in the patch note, it's nowhere. Uh, yeah. But now, and now it's out. Now it's public. <laughs> well, great. I don't know why it's on the patch note, but it is. That's the case. Um, so maybe this is a surprise for you. Do you have your run of show? I wanted to <laughs> show our next roadmap. Ah, uh, yes? Yes. <laughs> oh, cool. Yes. So hopefully you're prepared to talk about that a little bit, because I know that you have seen it. Um, so yeah, we uh, last month we showed, um, uh, I think it was Feb 15 to March 15-ish, one month roadmap of stuff that's happening in For Honor. So we wanted to show the next one now. Uh, this is sort of a, an intent for us going forward is to give you more, more visibility. visibility into what's yeah. coming so it's not always week to week. You can get a monthly view. Um, so I think we're ready to do that now if Max has it. There it is. Woo! So f so we, we changed the form as well. We now did. it's clearer. We a lot it of looks like a timeline. Yeah. <laughs> Damien's the, the, OCD the, went off the, the charts on the team, last one. The team of uh, Pascal is very smart. Like, why not do a timeline to showcase a timeline? <laughs> I like <Wow>. that. <laughs> that was so passive aggressive. <laughs> it's because Pascal's in the room. He's not usually here. Yeah, yeah, us, yeah. But, That's uh, why I'm, I'm trying to... Uh... Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh-huh. Okay, it's actually, so, so uh, wh why am I reacting? Because there's it's, an error on it. It's because there is an error on it. It's we not an error. An error live it's on not the an error. It's fact. It's, it's a change. Yeah. It's we don't want to do realistic dominion next week. Yeah. Because of just I what, what said, you just I, said. I just yes. said. I, we want to push dominion rank next week, and we don't think it's super smart to push an event at the same time. Yes. So Dominion, uh, Realistic Dominion won't be pushed next week. You can put it back up. But okay. it will be uh, back uh, a bit later on. 
should it be on that timeline? Yes, it will be back <laughs> on that timeline, but not on the 15. It's not validated yet, when, and, when and, I, and I will be murdered, I feel, yeah, if I do say that. it, but I still want to say it because I'm crazy. <laughs> Uh, right now, we think it should go on the 23rd March. Okay. But it's not validated. It's not validated, but that's the plan. Wow. So, um, Dominion ranked 15 with a lot of uh, rank push. Yep. Realistic Dominion on the 23rd. And now I will die. <laughs> and, um, and Dominion Executioner on the 16th, that's still true. Yes. Uh, when you see a, a lock, it means that we will reveal a new weekly content. Right. Those and are things because like it's our weekly, outfits, it's our weekly. emotes, our effects. Exactly. So we have one per week. Uh, Vanquisher Rush. Uh, so we'll do again a uh, faction rush. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, Always people like for this. this show, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See? Uh, Dance of Death is coming back. Yeah, people That's are psyched. Really I can cool. see the reaction. That's people really love cool. Dance of Death. Uh, it's coming back on the 5th. Uh, so I'm very happy about that. Good. And uh, because I will be back, in, uh, so I will be able to play it too. Um, and uh, Tribute Vanquisher on the 13th. Right. So you have some, uh, some uh, game events mode, mm -hmm. uh, some uh, orders and stuff like that. So yeah. And so people are asking because anytime we don't show this on a roadmap, people get worried. Arena mode, arena, arena uh, mode. trials. So we cut it. It's gone. <laughs> no. <laughs> we won't do it. Uh, no, so uh, arena mode, it's still there, still very important. In fact, uh, I think we had a question on the Q&A about it. Yeah. Uh, the plan is still the same. Yeah. So the plan is to still keep a window to be able to react if anything happens on the servers on the right. coming days, weeks. If we need a patch. If we need a uh, hot fix, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, because as soon as we trigger the arena patch, uh, we can't do hotfix anymore and it will be a longer patch mm -hmm. because we are redoing the whole playgo, meaning that we are redoing the whole first flow of the player, so it's a bigger submission, etc. Et so we still want to keep a little window to anything that happens on the servers uh, for the coming weeks. And then as soon that that's secure and we say, okay, server are good, uh, mm -hmm. uh, no, no big new issues or whatever. Then we trigger the patch of the arena mode and we release it to you. Cool. So, the, so that's still, still this the plan. season is the plan. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. Uh, it's like a lot of insight into kind of very nitty gritty certification submission processes. Yeah, but it is yeah. a reality that we have to live with every yeah. day. Uh, it would be great to release patches as frequently as possible as we can, but uh, it's not. So, so if you have issues in the server, etc., if you have, it, send it to us. Send everything you can because we try to identify yeah. those now, yeah. so that we can do a hot fix if we need to, yeah. and then so that we can move on on the next patch that will have the super new tutorial, super new first flow, new arena, etc., right. etc. Et that I can't wait to get. Uh, you so yes. play on. Let us know now, sooner rather than later, if there are big issues. I, mean, I know you will. No one's going to hold back if they have an issue, but yeah. that is good to know. Cool. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll be tweeting that roadmap. Probably going to edit it first <laughs> so it's accurate, uh, but we'll be posting that later. Uh, okay, we have content of the week, as you just mentioned, the little lock. So let's see what this week's content of the week is. It is battle outfits. I feel like this is usually how we start a new season after we do a... Uh, yeah, just, you know, you, you had outfits. a lot of cool stuff. It's a low price point if you want to get yeah. it. Uh, maybe we need to say that what, because the ah, event yeah. is over... Yeah, I skipped that, yes. Yeah. You can still get the bundles for Apollyon's Legacy now, but not much longer. Yeah, and this is also true for the Celebration Bundle. Yeah. <clears throat> and the rub, uh, rub insult yep. and, uh, and down the hatch, down the hatch, those they stay there. We won't remove them, but the mythic outfit uh, will be removed on the twelve, I think, or is already removed. I don't know. <laughs> the twelve is, is the may, date. maybe it's already gone. The twelve is remember. the date I have for everything. For everything, okay. So, so if it's gone, 
get the bundle. If it's not gone yet, it will be gone at the same time as yes. the bundle. Last chance. Cool. Yes. So, Cards of the Week, it's Battle Outfits. We've got a video. Let's check them out, and then we'll be back with B.O. for an update on the Faction War and other things. I was preparing like my transition from the transition, but it was way longer than I remember that it being. Hi, welcome back. Hi. Your hair has changed again. Yo, you're very Every observant. time your hair changes, people notice on the Reddit. Like there's what? discussions. <laughs> Just prepare yourself. Well, there's always discussions. Well, they can have a debate about my hair color if they want. <laughs> it's okay, if it's the only thing that they have a problem with, I will be happy. Uh, well, welcome back. Hi. How are you enjoying the new season? There's a lot of changes that your team has made. I played a lot of Apple Unibent. Could not finish Test Your Metal 3, though. We got numbers on that. It was, I was at... 47% of people completed it. Yeah. So less than we, we, half are able to do it. But which is still uh, higher than what I expected. Yeah. Next time we I'm need to be bad. harsher. <laughs> harsher. Yeah. Oh man, I don't oh, know about no. that. Because then you, s like within the first 20 minutes, we saw people beating them alone. Solo. So like, okay, we might have been too nice. Yeah, but it was great. It was very fun. Yeah. And uh, if people have feedback about the event, would like to, to hear about it. Uh, yes. Our team doesn't do everything. Yeah, we do a big part team, of it, though. but not everything at all. Uh, it's from everybody on the floor touches the, yeah. the events. So uh, we can have comments for everybody, and I would like to gather them and give the feedback to everyone. Yep. Yep. We want that feedback, because events aren't stopping. That's not no. the end of events for For Honor. But the gear from the Apollyon event, though, this is over. Yep. So but you, still, you can still get the bundle. Yeah, but there's the, no gear in it. Yeah, the bundle doesn't have True. the armor and weapons. Yeah. True. So it's so over for sadness. the armor and Stop weapons. Stop looking for silver linings sadness. here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. So they're not anymore in the crates, yeah. and yeah. they are not readable at so the end of the So to answer Senuto's question, yeah. they are not you're anymore readable. I'm sorry, readable. Senuto. You don't have all your pieces. I do, though. So. <laughs> Yeah. Next so just time, steal Bio's account. <laughs> no, don't, don't tell that. I got act like three times already. Oh no. Yeah. It's <laughs> not good. That no. shouldn't happen. Don't uh, dare them to do that. I wonder though, like maybe sometime in the future, there's a way to get these things again. I, I we might bring them up again at one point. We never did that so far, uh, yeah. so I don't know. It's. Uh, it's debatable. Because if we bring them, they don't feel extra special anymore. But it, yeah. if we bring them back, they won't. They will never be permanent for sure. Mm. That's for sure. That's mm. a given. But then maybe we'll we, see. We could have ways to do that okay. uh, if it's interesting. Okay. Something we can play with. Okay. Yeah. For sure. So we've just uh, we didn't just so we <laughs> this is funny. Last week Bio was going to be on the show last week. Yeah. Because it basically was every two weeks she would come on the show and talk about the. Uh, campaign that has just ended for Faction War, but we changed the end date for yes. our campaigns, which used to be called rounds, which means now you're on, even though it ended Friday? Last Friday? Well, in the night. Yeah. 
between so we couldn't so give the update on last week's show so you're here now yes it's not fresh information it's not because fresh. it's happened a few days ago but so still how are we do it next time uh, have this, we decided uh, it has to be decided <laughs> okay. it, we're waiting on your answer actually <laughs> uh, yes 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 my manager poked me this morning that we're waiting on I, your answer i think uh, i said i was liking both options yeah but two, two that's a good non-answer anyway not a good decision. anyways we okay. will figure it out i'm not going away we're doing a design as long, meeting on the show today as long <laughs> as you 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 want to have me here i'll be here <laughs> we could ask the community uh sure uh, sure oh <laughs> you're, you're like not taking the decision. Yeah. No, no, but okay. we could ask because well, basically we... what was the two the discussion it was either you come just before it finishes. Yeah, and I can to give, give like the last hints like if you yes. want to win it you mm -hmm. need to do it that way, mm -hmm. yes. which I think is really cool. Hmm. Either what was the we other one? We adapt all the next battles just a little bit so to that it's, before it's, that it's gonna be finished on Thursday morning. Okay. So it's the two options we have. Tell us what for it ends, or we tweak all the next battles so it yeah. finishes on. Do you want Bio to come to do the recap <laughs> of what happened, or do you want her to tell you what to do? Tips and tricks. Uh, last minute chances. That uh, could be interesting. Well, it's to actually, up to you now, guys. That would be Looks interesting like to it. see if something you suggest actually affects any change. That could be really. I don't think I have that power. Really. We'll find out if we if we do it. We'll leave it up to you. You tell us. They won't listen to me. Look at the volcano. They listen to <laughs> no one. We're going to get into the Do you want to get into the volcano right now? We can. No, I mean, not literally. No, Don't let's jump go. into the yeah. volcano. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Because the Viking won again. The Vikings the won. The campaign. Yes. Yes. With uh, a 35% of war sets of troops. Oh, sorry. <laughs> deployed across um, all the campaign, which mm -hmm. is good. Very good. And... I looked at why did the Viking won this campaign again, and I have some data for you, mm -hmm. just for you, Damien. Cool. Uh, so, first is obviously for the night, why did they lose the campaign, is the volcano obviously has a big impact. Uh, first battle, there was already 10 million troops on it, it's yep. kind of ridiculous, but, <laughs> but, this campaign, something mm -hmm. very cool happened. The samurai isolated the volcanoes, I think, yesterday. So all the troops that were in the volcano had no reinforcement the whole battle. Oh. So it dropped for a couple of millions to 800k only. Oh. The lowest it's been forever. <laughs> uh, so this is the way to get the volcano back, That's actually. Amazing. It's by isolating it, and then they lose all oh of God. their troops. So we can get all of them. Which, which the flip side is the samurai could be saving the knights from themselves. Yeah, they could be yeah. saving them because from the knights themselves. are kind of in a civil war right now. Half of them are pissed that they're that the other half is putting all of the troops <laughs> onto the volcano, so they never win. Maybe the samurai are the real heroes here. Yeah, they're yeah. good or maybe guys. Maybe the samurai start fighting for the volcano, and then, <laughs> then, and then we're really yeah. in deep shit uh, for no. the faction. That would be it's like if everybody starts fighting for. And that. I like the Vikings are staying out of it. Yeah, yeah it's, like, it's just <laughs> breaking up the winds here. Exactly, <laughs> uh, but wow. it's not the only reason. Right. I also saw that the last campaign, the knights actually used the war banner and deployed manually less than ever Oof. since we introduced the war banner, hmm. only 45% of strategical deployment. So that's also a problem. Hmm. So knights, get your shit together. Get your and, uh... shit together. <laughs> and for the samurai, the same problem they always had. They just play less matches. So each player Qualities generates <laughs> less war assets than all of the other ones. Wow. So just got to try play harder, more? guys. <laughs> Play more. So that's always the same problem. <laughs> because we, we balance the amount of war assets with the amount of players, but if you don't play a lot, or if you don't play very well, because your score also influences the number of troops you get, yeah. well, you get less. Because it's not about who's the most there, it's about right. also who's the best. So uh, get good, Samurais. Okay. Sorry, Damien. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's because of Damien. Probably because of Damien. <clears throat> he plays a lot. Yeah. Maybe he's bringing you down. <laughs> Um, hey, but that was not the only faction-related thing we got to do. No, no. Uh, I have the new strategic territories update yeah. because, as people probably know now, we have mills, the forge, and also the castles. And it was very cool. We saw people get way really more involved. Uh, we won a 5% more involvement in the faction war. Good. Going to 54, 55%. So uh, thanks cool. to you, everybody, to get <laughs> involved in the, in the future. And there was a lot of back and forth to take the mills. Uh, the champion of mill 
taking slash stealing <laughs> what were the knights. They oh. actually stole males for more than eight battles from the other faction. So, so the they knights fight, seem very... They don't fight for the war, they fight yeah. for They're interesting very locations. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> very yeah. dedicated people that only care about a few things, which is it's volcanoes like if, and mills. <laughs> it's like if you dangle shiny thing in front of a baby, that's what they want. Maybe oh, that's so they're the cats. Yeah. So or a cat, yeah. Yeah, babies. It's not Babies yeah. like shiny things too. Yeah, but cats are better. Baby cats. Oh, okay. That was, <laughs> uh, so that was very cool. And um, the, right now, the Vikings have the Knights Mill, so let's keep that, guys. <laughs> Don't forget to deploy your troops there. Otherwise, we had our first faction rush. Yes. yes. So a second faction related feature. Yeah, it's also coming from uh, the team uh, I'm part of. And uh, why did the Knight win? I had a lot of, uh, there was a lot of ideas on the forums first of all we should say the knights won across all platforms all platforms because all it's three. all separated it's different on each I one think there is a real reason that's interesting is that there is if there wasn't any volcano uh, on on the rush itself yeah volcano is not involved no. on the rush yeah. maybe that's, that's the reason why they mm. need to put a volcano somewhere else yeah. <laughs> they're gonna okay that's a good plan <laughs> but they won yeah they won on pc they won on PS4 and on Xbox, uh, which is a great feat. So we were like, hmm, mm -hmm. is there a problem? Because <laughs> we have uh, a, a ponderation also on this. Just mm -hmm. like the faction war, uh, depends on the amount of players you have in your faction. Otherwise, it would just be bad. Uh, and we looked at all the data, and we have the amount of execution per match in average. I did an average across all platforms. We don't, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> so to summarize, it's 1.46. Okay. Execution per match. Okay. The Vikings is 1.53, mm. and the Samurai is 1. Point no, the Knights. Uh, the Knights, sorry, is 1.56. So they executed more per match than the other Which factions. Is the reason why they won. Which is why they won. These trends are all very fascinating to me. What is it about the knights that they execute more? What is it about the knights that they're focused on volcano? Like, they are very really complicated people. It's, a, it's, it's like a personality test. They have trends. I guess from the yeah. beginning, right? Like with Fur Honor in general, the whole faction thing kind of already was a personality test a bit. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. also yeah. the theory of Jason, is yeah. that everybody deep within, you know if you're a knight of like, a samurai and has a big impact on who you are, your yeah. personality, are you like badass and like to have fun and stuff, or do you like to meditate and be boring? <laughs> <laughs> and look at data. <laughs> I also like data. Oh, okay. Uh, mm. But and that's part samurai. <laughs> <laughs> I love where it goes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's cool. it. That's where we're at. And also, thank you all for your feedback about the Apollyon event. It's always uh, appreciated. We look at it and we, we need more yeah. uh, because all of this is very useful to us. And are you looking for anything else faction war related? Like, are you looking for new places to take that for a future season? Oh, we're always improving. The yeah. team is still running uh, full speed on, on, cool. on everything. We're looking at balancing the economy and what we want to do with the faction war. Uh, however, right now we're still looking at the behavior of people with the uh, strategic territories. It's fairly new mm -hmm. and we want to see if it has a good impact and how much it has a good impact and balance those numbers. This is more in the area we're in right now. Cool. It's, it's in general, and when we release something, we want to take some time to make yeah, it great. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And what I would say is that we did a huge push on faction war during one year. Mm -hmm. So f a big part of her team was like 100 percent of the time focused on that mm -hmm. and now i think it's at a pretty cool level we're still improving it doing uh, uh, some tuning etc uh, but i'd like them to switch to other subjects that need the same attention mm -hmm. uh, on the game yeah cool. like the reward for rank for example for example, like mentioned, and, and an example exactly cool well Bill, thank you as always for coming You're welcome um and uh, we will be right back after another one of those beautiful transitions Max made <laughs> to answer uh, a lot of your questions. We've got some uh, here. We prepared some ahead of time. So uh, if you have questions about anything for honor related, hit them in the chat. Pascal will try to grab them. Yes, we have Pascal today. Uh, it's a rare treat. But a caveat, we do not have Roman here. So no, some of the very specific everything. fight things we yeah. might not be able to answer. So there's that. So uh, hit the transition, Max, and we'll be right back. Yes. 
So, like I so, said, I have a bunch of prepared questions because I know what many of your yeah, questions are. Yeah, it's I. We, uh, 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 blah, blah, blah. we, we, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> we, we wanted to do a, a, a Q and A section because I think it's quite some time we haven't done one, That's and true. then we are leaving with Roman uh, for two weeks. Yes, what so are you I doing? I know that it wouldn't happen within the next two weeks, so then I wanted to do one uh, today. Are you and Roman taking a tropical vacation? We are taking a tropical vacation <laughs> uh, to. Uh, we're going on war zones to witness how it works, so that we can put that into the faction. Great. What are you talking <laughs> about? No, no, we are, uh, we're going to uh, South by Southwest and to the GDC, Game Developer Conference, uh, to present uh, our work on uh, For Honor and to tell our story. Yes. So we've put in place a presentation. Uh, we'll be with the folks of uh, Amazon who are working with for the dedicated servers as well. So we have several presentations over there. Cool. And we want to also enjoy the presentation of other teams and things like that. Look at what's going on in the industry. So that's why we are leaving for two weeks. So two weeks of this show will be without Tim and without Roman. And I know yeah. it's going to be hard for you, but we'll be fine. Mm. <laughs> we'll be fine. Oh, uh, yeah, it's OK. <laughs> the presentations are good. If any of you go to GDC, it's a very good presentation. And Thank it you. should be recorded, so I, when it's available to share, we'll definitely share it as well, because I think people will want to see it. Yeah. But questions. questions. Let's start with the one that most people are shouting, which is Shoot. lag compensation. So lag compensation, or what's the other Input name? Input latency compensation. Input latency, or uh, time, time snap, snap removal. That's what uh, people use a lot. So. Uh, same thing, it's still following the plan that we um, already uh, shared with you um, a few times now. Uh, dedicated server first, now we're monitoring the latency of players on all platforms, on uh, all different regions, etc. To figure out what's the best uh, latency we need, uh, the best uh, lag compensation we need to put yeah. in place. Is it one frame, is it two frames, is it three frames? So we're waiting for that. And we're also doing an uh, internal external test uh, with some players, with some yes. tweaking values, so that we can get uh, the best uh, out of it and take the best uh, decision. We have a thing. Pascal wanted us to talk about this. We haven't really talked about it on the show. We have a thing called the Rift. Rift. It's not an Oculus Rift. It's the game is not coming to VR. No. But it's called the Rift Rapid Iteration Fight Testing. Yes. It's a tool that we can use with our fight team to test things like the updates to the heroes, balance changes, and starting next week, we're going to do one for the input latency compensation. Yeah. So, so basically, um, what we started doing like pretty, uh, pretty long time ago after launch was community workshops mm -hmm. where we're inviting players, uh, key top players who identified or key players from the community that they can play. Uh, things uh, that were still a lot in development so mm -hmm. that we can get that fi their feedback early and adapt to that and uh, so mostly the new heroes we're doing etc and uh, the next step of that and that's also part of our presentation at GDC or the rifts mm -hmm. where now we can send builds uh, directly to those players uh, and manage a PlayStation with them uh, to have a more um, iterative feedback we don't have to fly the, people the to Montreal we to do. test a change. Uh, right? and, and we can discuss with them and have a different uh, exchange on what they like, dislike, why, etc. Mm -hmm. So this way, it's another way for us to get feedback uh, because we get feedback from the forums, from Reddit, from uh, our community developers, from the community workshop. And now we have the Rift that is a, well, a new channel for us to get feedback mm -hmm. uh, so that we can uh, make the best decisions. So that's yes. another tool that's not replacing uh, the other ones. So we're still doing community workshop, we're still doing public tests and things like that. It's just an extra tool that is giving us other uh, type of feedback. It's like Batman's utility belt. It's just one Wind of the up. little yeah. It's one exactly. of the little gadgets on it's his belt. It's a new battering. Yeah, a new battering. Yeah. <laughs> There's so, no For Honor Batman coming, so don't ask. Or VR. Neither of those things are coming. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Division 2 just so, got announced. Shout out to those guys. Yes, ah, yes. Congrats. while we're talking yes, about games. Yeah, really cool. there's a Division 2, apparently. Good job. Uh, surprised. <laughs> I was surprised anyway, by I was too. I'm surprised. Oh, that's yeah. great. We learned a lot from them. Are you sure them. it's not a leak? <laughs> Is, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, Ubisoft tweeted it, so probably not a leak. Okay. okay. <laughs> 
But yes, oh. uh, they were kind of the first Ubisoft live game. Yeah, and they uh, shared Rainbow. a lot of information about their economy and how they yeah. handle difficulty and the player base. So they, they are great people and yeah. the game is also cool. And but they did a huge really comeback stole a lot with of shit. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And of course, Rainbow as well. It yeah. goes without yeah. saying, but uh, yeah. we're one for all part of the same yeah. family. Live game within Ubisoft. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. So all of that said, we're doing that test next week. The internal te uh, uh, private test with yeah. these guys that should that plus the actual data and what we're yeah. hearing from the community should give us all the info we need to set the proper latency compensation yeah, yeah. then we so need to soon do after a, that. a live patch yeah so it's still a patch still need test and all yeah and then we can release that uh, yeah but we're close it's good news i would say i know yeah. people want it we're close yeah but we don't want to just release it without feeling confident that this is a thing that actually improves the experience so exactly yes Stay tuned, we're there, almost there. So that's cool. Yes. All what right. else? Let's I, do some I, of the ones from we, we got from chat here. Okay, so uh, we have one from uh, <laughs> AFA Rigato 22. AFA Rigato 22. EA Ferrigato. Yeah. I don't know. Well, he asked for having bots at least level two in Dominions, but uh, the thing is the bots you get uh, depends on the people they replace if you play in PvP. Ooh. So you're... MMR defines the level of the bot, and if you play alone, it's the one of your team, so it's your skill. And if you play in PvAI, it's the same rule. It's based yes. on your MMR, but it's based on your PvP MMR. Oh. So if you haven't played any PvP match, or you played uh, only three of them and you always died, you have <laughs> a pretty bad PvP MMR, so it means that when you go in PvAI, you face only bots level one. Yes. Uh, it seems something we'd like to change. We discussed it a long time ago. Mm -hmm. It's not on the top priority list, so it's still not done. But I'd like PvAI players who don't play PvP to be able to play against good bots. Yes. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, it's based on your PvP MMR. Yeah. That's MMR being your ranking, your hidden ranking that is based on your win and loss and your. Ranking? Uh, oh, yeah. Match. It's uh, wait, matchmaking ranking. Mm -hmm. Someone just asked, Havoc Hyena asked, does Damien sleep? Uh, not recently, <laughs> uh, but uh, it's one of the things I'd like to do in the two upcoming weeks, <laughs> to sleep no, a bit you're more. You're not going to get any time to sleep. You're going to be <laughs> out uh, late every it night. It was pretty rough. But uh, everybody's talking about months. your haircut, though, on this channel. Yeah, it was I, a big subject. Well, I was uh, watching the chat. <laughs> so this is also the other consequence of uh, working all weekends, is that I, I couldn't do the haircut sooner. So I, I did it in a, in a big way, <laughs> so that I don't have to go there. Oh, that's such a big change. <laughs> see, that see? I could it's barely bigger, recognize yeah, it's like, you. Who are you? Oh, and, and, no, and now, it's a and bit now, shorter. What the hell? And now I'm relieved for uh, like a good three months. Uh, so, and that's why they were way longer than why I like. They're anyway, calling, they're so, calling so, it a so, Nicolas Cage haircut. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a bit true. Uh, hey, he's one of our finest actors. It's a compliment. <laughs> I, I, I like Nicolas Cage. So, I, so yeah, I, love so, uh, Cage. I will sleep a bit more, uh, hopefully, in the coming two weeks and enjoy a different rhythm uh, of life uh, because we different won't have what? to work the rhythm. 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 Oh, rhythm. Life. I thought you were saying like re okay. resume. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the okay. rhythm. Okay, enough about See? it. Yeah, I got you. See? Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> anyway, uh, maybe another question. Yes. From Big Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Does the AFK time before kick starts when you spawn or when you die and start not using any key before you can have up to 35 second respawn time in tribute? So with the 45 second kick idle, that's kind of short. So um, I don't have the exact details because we're working on improving AFK, in fact. So I'm validating a lot the new design. So I can't remember what is the old design. <laughs> uh, but I don't think... So AFK, it's AFK wherever you are. So if you're AFK in the menu, if you're AFK during the, the, um, your death, it's the same thing. Because during your death cam, you can see the spectate people, you can see the do inputs, uh, so uh, I think everything is considered as being AFK, okay. if I remember well. Okay. Not sure about that, but if I remember well, that's how it works. So it's fine, you can watch during 35 seconds and not do any inputs, you won't be kicked out. 
because there is the, the time that triggers the AFK, the warning, and then there is the, the time that kicks you out. And those are two different times. Anyway. Oh, you get a warning? I, I think I'm confusing even more players than what I should. <laughs> so, no. But, but big dragon, be, be reassured. It's OK. You won't be kicked out during uh, your uh, respawn time uh, if you don't do any input there. <laughs> Is there any AFK timer? From uh, Ovarian in, Delight. What a, in wow. AI. What yeah. a name. <laughs> and uh, and the uh, answer is yes, of course. Of course it is. So same, <laughs> same rules apply in PVAI. So don't do AFK in PVAI because uh, we don't like that. Yeah. And uh, your teammates don't like it either. Yep. Okay, so let's, let's do go another to our one list here because uh, this one's uh, I've seen a few times people asking. I highlighted it in green and now I can't read it. Uh, what do the different connection indicators actually mean? Yes, so when you're in the game, you can see high the packet loss, symbols. So there high is, latency. There is a menu There's in a the menu. game, a menu, uh, <laughs> and not a restaurant menu. <laughs> So there is a menu page inside the game where um, when you go on your profile, mm -hmm. if you go on the right on the box that's showing a connectivity, nuts, etc., and you click on it, there is a screen that gives you the whole detail of uh, the different icons mm -hmm. that are those icons. Ooh. And, uh, and those are displayed on the top of your screen. It's a little uh, yellow symbol that is warning you when something uh, goes wrong. So when you have a, a high packet loss amount, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have a bigger latency than uh, what you usually have, or you have a big latency variation, things like that, or you are running low on uh, frame rate on PC, all of those could be reasons yes. that if you see that popping a lot, that you will be disconnected within a minute because of that. Mm -hmm. So be pay attention to that. And then try to see why you have uh, high latency variations or, or things like that. It could be because you are downloading something in parallel. It could, could be because you're on Wi-Fi and your Wi-Fi is very much saturated on that channel because everybody on your block is on the same channel, so you need to change your channel, etc. I won't go into too many Secretly, details. Secretly, one of my favorite things but is uh, on Reddit when someone will complain about their connectivity and they'd be like, I have really good Wi-Fi, and then everyone kind of piles on, it's like, don't play on Wi-Fi! Yeah, yeah, well, uh, yeah. Do it nicely, but that is the right message. Don't play That's on the right message, and, and <laughs> if you can't, and you have to play on Wi-Fi, then like, look at your Wi-Fi channel, look at all of those things. You can really improve your Wi-Fi yeah. bandwidth as well. So uh, one of those yeah. Nighthawk routers, have you yeah. seen those? They look like a concept car from the 80s. <laughs> They're amazing. But they apparently super boost your Wi-Fi. OK. Uh, did you want to give the specifics? I brought the specifics. So yes, high packet cool. loss is displayed when 20% of the packets sent in the past 30 frame are, uh, are lost. Are lost. Oh. <laughs> so packet I loss is, is basically, you, we, we send packets, you send stuff. Yeah. And when, when, when you don't receive those, or when the other side don't receive those, then we saw that they are lost. Mm -hmm. And if you have a high amount loss, then it means that you have uh, an issue with uh, your, uh, your bandwidth. High latency, it's when you reach 350 milliseconds. So it's fucking high latency. Yeah, that's bad. That's really bad. So <laughs> when you are 350 milliseconds, there is very high chances you would get kicked from the match pretty quickly yep. because uh, you would lag a lot and it would be unplayable for you and for the others. Even with the servers that are helping a lot yes, and uh, in the reliability of your latency, uh, it's still 350 milliseconds. I don't know many games that support that, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, I was just going to, as a point of reference, back to the Italy example where people were saying connectivity is not great in Italy. If 350 is where we cut off for high latency, the average latency we have in Italy is like 120. Yeah. Mm. So which is like... Uh, still a lot. It's still a lot, but not even close to that. So. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, high latency variation, it's uh, when you have a 150 millisecond delta between highest and lowest value in the past X frames. X being a number we don't have for the the show but I don't know why but anyway so uh, 150 milliseconds uh, latency variation is pretty huge too 
So maybe you still see sister or somebody else started to, to do Netflix while you were playing or something <laughs> like that. And then you, anyway. It's possible. So that's possible. It happened to me all the time during the Apollon event. Then I realized that I was patching Shadow of, of Mordor. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> see? On the same Xbox. There are reasons. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, low FPS, it's when you are at uh, 50 milliseconds per frame. It's weird that they didn't give us the number of frames per second. I feel like that me, does that, frame. yeah, I don't know. Milliseconds per frame, yeah. So it's data. Anyway. Anyway, that's, okay. a, that's I, a... I won't do the math now, <laughs> but I would have said it differently. Yeah. Uh, it's a PC-specific thing, obviously. We don't yeah. have... Uh, low FPS is PC-specific, of course. Yeah. Um, cool, cool. Maybe we can ask... Uh, that one is for you. Uh, yeah, the Eric. Viking. The, the Viking. Viking. How do I contact you on Reddit? I have an execution idea for each character. Each character. We look at Reddit. Yes, I actually suggest posting it. Just post it on and the subreddit. And then if it gets popular, we read it. That's sort of the magic of Reddit. Yeah, yeah. because I saw a bunch of execution ideas already. Yeah. Yep. Now, now we, it's a trend. It is a trend, I and do. we get some really yeah. good ones. And yeah. I do send those to our executioners. And a lot of the times, we're like, yep. We've the executioners? That's what, I, that's what I call them. He's wearing his hood all day, <laughs> which is big axe. He's just chilling on the floor. With a bloody shirt. Yeah. People are avoiding Not very it, friendly. You know? yeah. No. Uh, but no, I, I do send those and a lot of the times they've already seen it like yeah yeah we're gonna check this out and see if it's possible like it, so we do really like that feedback um so yeah post it on reddit you can tag me if you're not familiar with reddit you can tag people my username is mr eric pope and mr eric pope so mr -E e-r-i-c-p-o-p-e is to slash you slash mr eric pope it, it a bit ties in with the next question from ali ayak Hayek? Uh, H. 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 Uh, sorry, you know French. <laughs> um, and they, he asked if we have uh, accounts that can pop up in the game and experience the community. If uh, maybe he played in a, with a dev in a duel. We play all the time. Uh, right. we, there yeah. are a lot of devs of, from the team that play the game. Yep. Uh, for sure. We have ways to be recognized, but so, it's, yeah. it's on people. Uh, it's people choice. Yeah. So we can wear a Ubisoft. We have uh, an ornament. Yeah, it's an ornament. We have a Ubisoft ornament and we have a Ubisoft symbol as Logo, well. Logo, yeah, on the character. Uh, that we can put. I know... <laughs> some we, people don't because it makes people them a, don't a target. Some people don't do it because <laughs> it makes you a target and some people just want to chill and have fun and may, might not be as good as you. Yep. So they don't want to become targets. I, uh, I wear it on my I wear it too. <laughs> Uh, but I won't tell you my, uh, <laughs> my name. But clearly uh, you're obviously. a Kensei. So that yeah, but clearly I'm a Kensei. A Kensei with the Ubisoft ornament is probably them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're quite a few Kensei. <laughs> there is uh, Andrew, for yeah, example. Who played, yeah. Who played uh, during the last stream. Anyway, so yes, we do play the game a lot. Yes, uh, so Pascal would like us to answer this one because everyone's shouting it. And it's in red. And it's in red. Thank you, Pascal. Uh, Juanito01, or Jonito, sorry, Jonito01. Are there going to be other character reworks in the future? Yes. Ah, I would have said no. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I've just decided. No, we, we want to do other stuff in. <laughs> <laughs> He's troll. He's a troll Don't today. Troll people. <laughs> troll people. Yes, that yes, and, we're, and, and we are working on those. Yes. As I speak. Yes. And that's all we're going to say today. But yes. And that's all There's I more can coming. say. So don't give detail. I can tell you that <laughs> one is a, <laughs> is a fighter. Oh. oh. Uh, another one is wearing a weapon. <laughs> is wearing, wearing a weapon? weapon? <laughs> See, now they're going to actually give a clue and they're going to look. <laughs> like, Who is wearing a weapon? It's wielding a weapon. It's wielding a weapon. <laughs> anyway. All right. Uh, this question up here is also on our list. So let's answer it. What is love TV? Oh my god. Uh, nat types still matter in PvP? They don't, but they do in the game. But you do still see it so, in the game currently. So, uh, nat type is still used for PvAI matches, of course, uh, for uh, custom games as well, but now they are not used for PvP. Then there is a question I'm not aware because we're still working on the groups and I don't, I don't know if we still use NAT for groups. I don't think so. No, I, I'm pretty sure we don't. But I don't want to say... Um, but that's a good news for people that want to play tournaments. 
Yes. That's a very good news for people who want to do yeah, dual tournaments before. because you couldn't yep. if you had a red nut. Now if you have a red nut, you can play dual tournaments. And that's amazing. That's a cool Highlander thing. has a, a knife on his belt. We already did a Highlander update. Yeah. It's, it's not the only one. There's also uh, the Eramusha. He has like two yeah. little ninja toe, I think, on his belt. So. Don't, I think the Shinobi has some stuff. Don't play yeah. into the speculation. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm falling in the rabbit hole. With you there. Anyway, <laughs> they, they, they go on the battlefield, they kill other players. Here's a good one. Why can't I get into a match of tribute when it says very high activity? Uh, because you suck. No. Wow. <laughs> what? Man. Why? No, no. I think you do need some sleep, Damien. <laughs> no, no, no. He's leaving. He's like, I'm not going to yeah, deal with the fallout out of my comments. So, so, so. <laughs> first thing. Okay. Why? We have a bug. We have we a have, bug. We discovered the bug that the activity that is displayed is not linked to the game mode, but it's linked to the game mode family. Right. So, Tribute and Dominion are in the same game mode family, and one is way more popular than the other. We'll let which them is decide Dominion. which one it is. <laughs> uh, so, uh, the answer is maybe because Tribute wasn't in high activity, it's not truly, but yes. it was because it's Dominion. Bug. So, it's a bug we're aware of it, we're working on it. Yep. I don't know what's the ETA for now, but possible, uh, as soon as we spotted yeah. it, because of questions like that, so thank you for that question, you don't suck. Uh, <laughs> in the on. end, uh, we could uh, we could identify it and now uh, working on a fix. Yep. Also, just want to make uh, something. Clear I'm actually going to give a direct shout out. It's not because out. you Hold have on. a low activity. I'm going to give a yes. direct shout out to our moderator Tiff because he pinged me directly about that specific question and it led me to say, "What up with that?" And then it led our uh, Team Onion uh, lead to be like. What up with that? <laughs> and then they, so that's, so, thank you, Tiff. And then another thing is that it's not because you have a low activity that you won't find a match. We put that mostly for, for a waiting time expectation. Yep. And yes, sometimes you don't find a match in low activity. This happens because we, we prefer to kill the matchmaking after five minutes. Uh, I find it depends on the place, but um, so that you don't win indefinitely uh, if you have a bug or something. Uh, but yeah, so uh, you should find tribute matches. Seriously, <laughs> it's not now. It's not that unpopular. It's still one of the modes that is pretty much played. Right. Rank tribute, yes. Rank tribute, yes. <laughs> Agreed. But normal tribute, you should find a match. But that's maybe that's why. Get. Maybe rank tribute was high activity because of the game mode family, why it wasn't. Right. Maybe that's why. So there we you go. solved everything. We've solved everything. We haven't actually fixed that yet. So let's Thank not. you for that question. All right, uh, Damien, this is one that actually it's your team as well. Getting yelled at about this a lot. I guess it's not actually your team, but it interfaces what you guys do. When will you make neutral color swatches available for attacker and defender? You hate them being locked to neutral only. Do you may for answer? Uh, he doesn't know what you're gonna say. <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna say, but, uh, let's, break but, but let's go, let's go. <laughs> and I will, uh... okay. If I'm talking too much, tell me. Um, <laughs> the, a while ago, before I was on the engagement team, I was on the game mode team and I designed the, the game modes that were there before the lunch. And uh, when I was doing that, we had issues with people knowing what team they were on. Uh, especially new players. <laughs> you would get gang, they were like, whoa, what happens? And think their friends were attacking them. Uh, so we did a lot of play tests and we did what we call eye tracking. So you look exactly where the, the, the pupil of the player is looking on the screen and what they're looking at. And we realized that in For Honor, we have what we call tunnel vision. So you look really in the center of your screen, a lot, lot, lot. Because this is where the, you see the animations mm -hmm. of your opponent, you see your stance, widget, etc. Yeah, exactly. So uh, you don't have the behavior that you see in shooter of people that they like go they through the whole more. screen. The yeah. screen, they don't scan the screen, they really focus on the middle of the screen. So what we did is we tried changing the color of the outfits of the characters and not only the names. And mm -hmm. it really had a big improvement on beginner players mm -hmm. and lower tier players if you it's, want. It's it's making you even even high level player. They, like it's your reactivity time is better. It's instinctual with that. Yeah. instead of being it's okay. Like I you're, recognize you're earning, it. Uh, yeah. some reactivity. So we hear you that customization wise, it's uh, it's limiting the choices. 
And also that's one of the reasons why uh, some parts you need to have, um, you're forced in fact have to paint, have paint a, a paint pattern because that's what uh, wears the color <laughs> of attacker and defender. And some other we, we allow you to remove it because it's okay you still have two places that have that color. So right now we don't plan to, uh, to allow neutral uh, colors uh, in your team. Uh, never, never say never, uh, but for sure, if we wanted to do that, we would have to find something else, uh, like uh, an outline, etc. And those were ideas that we removed because performance-wise, they were impacting a lot, and they were bringing other issues like lisibility, enfin, readability of movement, etc., etc. I say that because I see that suggested on mm -hmm. the Reddit file as well and sample. We have other constraints uh, that shooters don't have, for example. So, uh, for the moment, it's the best solution we found. Uh, but where available, we have some that we can make available. When yeah, the, yeah. The, that's and, the other thing. We, we can improve the selection yeah, and, and of the neutral ones. Yeah, and sometimes when we create outfits, um, the team is in a rush, so sometimes they don't put it or attacker defender, so that we patch it afterwards. Now it gets more into the process yep. of each time we do a neutral color. We ask ourselves, can it be in one yeah. of the two camps? Uh, the process is neat, still yeah, not we perfect. Need to basically, yeah. and, and yes, I'm as uh, frustrated as the community when first thing I see when we use an outfit, it's like, why is it not a yeah, card it's defender? Kind of blue, it's blue, blue. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Yeah. And sometimes it's, it's already fixed, yeah. but it couldn't make it in the patch, so it goes in the next one. Yep. Uh, That's something so, on our side we yeah. can improve. Yeah, we're improving on that. Good answer. Maybe not the answer people very, want, but it's a good very answer. Very good answer, in fact. Uh, I'm, I'm happy, okay. I'm happy you to that, that you were answered. <laughs> the the purple stuff and all, it was wow. It was fun, actually. It was good. a cool, uh, ah. a cool possession. A lot, a lot, a lot of people, and this happens whenever we do something new that's cool, want Test Your Metal to be a permanent mode. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Same thing as Dance of Death. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the thought is uh, really clear is that we think one of the things that makes it cool is that it's not permanent as well. Uh, that you can enjoy it for a moment and then it's gone. It doesn't mean it can't co come back. Uh, it doesn't mean it will come back either. Mm -hmm. uh, but, um, but yeah, it's, it's, we want to create surprises. We want to create moments where you're enjoying something else. Uh, we can't keep permanent everything that is cool because then it would split yeah. the player base a lot. And then it means longer matchmaking, it means you don't find the player you want to play with, it means you don't find the player with the right skill you want to play with, etc., etc. And it degrades the quality of the game everywhere. Um, we can make strong choices per moment, so saying, okay, uh, now uh, we're removing this mod or this, gum, this mod becomes that, mm -hmm. like we change the rule of um, spawning in skirmish, mm -hmm. etc. So, so we can change uh, full time, of course, and we look at feedbacks for that. But we think that the value of events is also that uh, that uh, they are uh, temporary. And and I'm super happy to hear that feedback say, oh, leave it permanent, it's so cool. It means that we're doing well our yes. job. Uh, because the team has fun to do that as well. It they also have shows fun that to play with the rules of the game. It shows that there's a, a decent interest in the PVE type stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For this, sure. this Hasn't got, been a big focus. It didn't fell into the fear for that. We, yeah. We, yeah. we heard the feedback about yeah. people liking PVE, yeah. AI, uh, PVE yeah. actually. And yeah. it's interesting. Yeah. yeah, and we can tell you that this one, the hardest one we've did for an event, and we really struggled at the beginning. Because at the beginning, uh, you could cheese the bots, you could, there, were n there was no challenge. And, and even after adding challenge, it, it was getting boring super quickly. So it was a huge amount of work to, to find the right ways to uh, upgrade their difficulty, etc., to do the three different weeks. So we were like, okay, it's for an anniversary event. Let's put uh, the efforts on it because we want it to be awesome. But it was uh, really like, it's really not a given. At the beginning, uh, a lot of people from the team were doubtful we would be I able... Was. I was doubtful. Yeah. I, when I played early, the, the early versions, yeah. I was like, yeah, We would be able to do work. a <laughs> PV AI even that is cool and that stays cool on the, on the long run. Yeah. I was wrong because it was very fun. <laughs> we got there in the end. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Cool. Um, maybe just a couple more because we've. Uh, I know you've got a meeting to go to soon. And yes. Probably have not had lunch. Yeah, you're in the same meeting. <laughs> yeah, and I need to eat. Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> Please, Eric. Uh, bu 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 oh, actually, these ones we've answered. Sorry. Um, we do answer this one a lot, but Bernardo79, when is inventory space being increased? Uh, for the moment, it's still not something, uh, it's still, not, so we, we investigated it, uh, it's impacting a lot the performance, so for, uh, for the moment we have a no-go from the technical team, we can't do it. Uh, it doesn't mean we, we will never do it, but it means that for the moment we haven't found a solution that performance-wise is, uh, is, um, is correct. We still have a feature in the cooking, in the making, uh, <laughs> that I already discussed about that will also help for people who save their uh, event items so that they can reuse that uh, visual on a higher level item, etc., etc. That's all part of the same feature made in, uh, in BIOS team. We're still not discussing about that feature yet because it's still not ready, uh, but it will help uh, on that aspect. For sure. For sure. Cool. Let's do a bit of a lightning round. When we vote for a map, can it be possible to change our map vote? Champion Ruby 50G. So it's a design choice to not do that mm. uh, because we want players to vote and take into consideration the other players' votes uh, so that you don't have map vote cheesing, if I can say that, where a group is, everybody was voting for one thing, then they change at the last second to vote for something else, then it's bringing confusion, etc. So you have different ways to do map vote. Uh, in video games, we took to the approach to say, when you vote, you voted for good. This is what we send to everybody else so that they can adapt to that, and so that there is no surprises on what you will play next, uh, if you want to do that uh, okay. accordingly. Lightning round. <laughs> Not very light. Yeah. That, <laughs> no. Um, okay. <laughs> Candle in the Dark asks, in the future, is it possible that similar to tournaments, event outfit drops could prioritize the hero currently in use before going random or even weight drops based on reputation? Weight drops based on reputation, probably never because we want people that start the game to also have the cool stuff. Mm -hmm. So that would be sad. Yeah. Uh, um, Design-wise, I'm not. I'm against it. Oh, lightning. Uh, <laughs> and uh, sorry, the first if part is the the, oh, based on hero. Yeah. Uh, it's on. It's deliberately that we have it right yeah. now because we had good comments about it uh, about having now the the reward from the tournament being hero based and the ones in the match being more random because it also gives you discount on those bundles. So uh, yeah. we had good feedback on it. So it's. A question of preference. And we, it, it, exactly, and we had, we had two, two ways to see it. Either we're prioritizing the heroes, and again, it's, it's an extra dev, etc., but maybe you could do it. But by doing that, we would lower the, um, the drop rate. Mm. Because we don't want you to That's have everything sure. within free match. So either we do that, and then it means you rarely get an event item. Mm. But when you get it, it's for your hero. Mm. Either we are on the generous side as we prefer the approach to do, which is always, al always that something. almost each match you get something, but you don't know for who. And we prefer that. We prefer to say, hey, it's an event time. You always get cool stuff, but not right away on your hero. But if you play enough, then you will get everything anyway. Uh, and it's also for us what is cool is that it uh, maybe drives you to to the secondary heroes, third hero you have, to also get the stuff, etc. So we prefer to reward your roster more quickly than a specific hero more quickly and then hinder the whole roster. Yeah, that was it, the it's approach. It's a cool surprise when you play your other characters yeah. and you say, oh yeah, that's true, I, I looted that and yeah. this. Cool. Um, okay. So that's the reason. Lightning round. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. I think that's probably enough questions for now. We are going quite long, and we still have a community corner to do. Yeah. I know you guys have to go to a meeting, so that's yes. yes. fine. I can do it myself. Sorry. Just me in the corner, like that song. So uh, uh, have, a, have a good Warriors then. Thank you. In the next two weeks. <laughs> uh, have a good two weeks uh, off. Bye. Enjoy the, um, the ranking updates. Thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because My I, gift to you. <laughs> and... Uh, and tell me what's going on on those. Oh, you're going to be on email? Know. Yeah. All right. Don't, don't commit to being on email if you're not going to be.
I will be I will be reading my emails and working on uh, every day. No awesome. Problem. All right, thank voilà. you very much, and uh, we'll be right back with Community Corner. Thank you. It's just me now. Wow, still wide though. Still wide. Should bring it right in. Bring it right in on my nose. Don't do that. Uh, so here we are, Community Corner. If this is your first time watching, I don't know if that's the case. We try to share clips from the community as much as we can, so we've got a good bunch of them this week. They're all very short except for the last one. So let's dive in. First one is a video from Friend of Walrus. Shinobi can be all right sometimes. If you couldn't tell what was going on there, the shinobi kind of pulled his own teammate out of the line of fire, which is not something I realized you could do, but that was dope. Okay, Google Snoof has a GIF. Season two flashbacks. Maybe this will give you flashbacks as well. The shinobi and the scent. Excellent teamwork. Kick, kick, die. Good stuff. Ah, and this is a well-known, famous YouTuber, Spliced Law. I am Law. This is also a very, very short. Just a cool visual there. Uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, like I said, these are all really short clips this week. I don't know why. Uh, most of them are like seven seconds. It's a trend in the community. All right, from Douchebag, <laughs> good name, Death From Above. <laughs> Two quick kills, good job, Douchebag. All right, now we've got a Jeef from 5XG, so utterly predictable. Yeah. This is for the folks upset about shamans. I think you get to see a little shaman revenge here. A good Kensei defense. Kensei defense. All right. There it is. <laughs> the predictable pounce and kill. And then then that. There you go. Good job, good job. You killed that shaman. Okay, Kaleidoscope 98. <clears throat> I hate it when they give these titles that are like a script. Now I got you legendary, not again. I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I see. I guess I should have done that as the, the video was happening. Should have done the script. All right, another seven second video from Rabbi Andy. New Raider execution, self-destruct. This one made me lol. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> All right, a gif from Porno Magnum. Fellow knights, I can't tell you how long this took to make, so for the love of Hervis Daubeny, listen to Papa Deus. It's a long title. Yes. A little outrage at the volcano. I get it. We're all there. All right, and... My man, Long Dong of the Law, meme compilation 11. Let's check it out. Oh, 
Be more careful. I hope nobody will come uh, on your back. Um, phrasing? When you are turning, it is important to signal at least three oh, feet from the big turn. fat meanie! This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. This needs to stop now! This, this is, is not okay. This is cancer. This is so much cancer. Ay, 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 ay. Well done, Long Dong. In our final video of the week, this is a long one, just to warn you ahead of time, but uh, I really liked this one. This is my favorite thing I saw this week. It uh, is a fan-made kind of a, a Polyon trailer to celebrate the anniversary of the game. It's called My War Has Come Home. Uh, so if you haven't already, Fred, you can start the raffle, do it during this video, because it's uh, five and a half minutes long. But let's check it out. Ashfeld. I was born here, out in the scrublands. Twenty years ago, the Iron Legion had been on the verge of losing it to the Vikings entirely. Almost every fortress in these lands was first built a millennium ago. We lay new construction on top of old and call it our own. We're children playing at Empire. The Vikings have raided every year for as long as I can remember. They sack, loot, burn. My village was destroyed by them. Mine and hundreds of others. Warriors rarely see the people their wars affect. The displaced, the murdered, the starving. I saw all that when I was younger. I never forgot the lesson. I am Apollyon. I was a warden once. Now I have become something greater. I am the eighth warlord of the Blackstone Legion. The only one strong enough to survive. And through me, this land will see a new age. When we stop fighting against it, nature will always reassert itself. So it is with stone, so it is with plants, with animals, and so it is with people. Wherever we go, the peaceful life that is called civilization scatters. I do not envy the meek and helpless common folk. They live a life of fear. They cannot defend themselves. They cannot be blamed for being what they are. But neither should they be allowed to deny it. A monk once told me that true peace is the product of one's mind and body working in perfect harmony. A battlefield, then, is one of the most peaceful places you can be. Yield. Face justice. I'll pass. My war has come home at last. I will not flee from it. I will win. It's over. We will have peace. <laughs> peace.
So, what happens now? <laughs> you all just <laughs> go home. <laughs> came into my home and you brought your armies <laughs> what did you think would happen peace that isn't how the world works Don't speak to me of your virtue. Beauty. Kinship. Honor. You've forgotten what you are. Admit what you are. All of you. My wolves. Thanks so much, Era Plays, for making that. Uh, that is the YouTube channel as well, I believe, Era Plays. Uh, that is it for this week's show. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. It's uh, been a lot longer than I expected it would be, but uh, we did a lo good long Q&A, so I'm happy with that. Uh, as always, you can reach me uh, on my Twitter at Mr. Pope, or you can uh, hit me up on Reddit. I'm usually there. I can't, uh, it's actually been, I've been inundated <laughs> in the last uh, few weeks with messages, so I can't always answer my direct PMs on Reddit, but uh, I do see them, and I do see it when you tag me into threads, but uh, my time is so limited. Uh, so, so apologies if I haven't responded to you directly. Chances are I have at least seen your, your message. So thank you very much. As always, we'll be back next week with no Damien and no Rahman, but uh, I will be here because I have no life. So we'll see you uh, next time, and have a good week. Thanks, everybody.